tell my son I'm sorry. No! In The Lincoln Lawyer Season 3, Neil Bishop, an adversary of Mickey Haller, testifies in court and later dies by suicide. Mickey's client, Julian Larcos is accused of murdering Glory Days and hires Mickey due to their past connection. The case becomes personal for Mickey as he and his team face threats throughout the trial. Despite chaos, including a home break-in, the death of Mickey's driver, and Julian's stabbing, Bishop isn't the mastermind behind the threats. However, Bishop's involvement leads to a tragic fate for his character by the season's end. Mickey takes his time presenting video evidence even though he has incriminating information against DEA agent James DeMarco and DA investigator Neil Bishop for smuggling evidence into the residence of a possible witness. Mickey eventually shows Bishop the video evidence in Season 3, Episode 9, but only outside of the courtroom. While acknowledging that he is in danger, the investigator cautions Mickey that displaying the video could lead to a lot of problems. Bishop eventually takes the stand in the Season 3 conclusion of The Lincoln Lawyer. Unfortunately, Bishop's testimony also carries a death sentence since, after testifying, he ends his own life with a concealed firearm. Bishop's testimony is supposed to be the final straw that discredits DeMarco and his involvement in the murder of Glory Days. In addition to exposing Larcos's innocence, Mickey's defense plan allows Bishop to admit his involvement in DeMarco's own wrongdoing. In addition to pursuing Glory from the hotel, Bishop gave DeMarco vital information that enabled the DEA agent to reach her home, where he would murder her before attempting to hide his crimes. Bishop has a second gun concealed in his pant leg, despite the judge forcing him to give it up in court. Bishop draws his second gun, names his kid, and then commits suicide while the prosecutor sits in dismay and Mickey is happy that there is a greater likelihood that the trial would go in his client's favor. Naturally, Everyone in the courtroom is surprised and afraid by what they just saw, and fans of The Lincoln Lawyer are probably feeling the same way. Season 3 of The Lincoln Lawyer features several heated exchanges between Mickey and Neil Bishop, who obviously does not like them. But when we get to know Bishop's backstory, we see that he was never evil. But instead, he found himself hopelessly mired in James DeMarco's quagmire. Prior to taking the stand, Bishop was fully aware of the risks involved in revealing the truth regarding the corruption and cartel ties of DeMarco. It is quite probable that DeMarco or an associate of his would have murdered Bishop following his testimony if Bishop hadn't committed suicide. Consequently, Bishop believed he was hopelessly trapped and had no escape route. Mickey and his colleagues struggled to uncover any information regarding DeMarco in Season 3 of The Lincoln Lawyer. The agent's extensive network of contacts alerts DeMarco the moment Bishop divulges the truth regarding Glory Day's demise. It appears that DeMarco would have gone to even more extreme measures to escape because he escaped the place right away and even got into a pursuit with Cisco. The same holds true for seeking vengeance on others who had wronged him, such as Bishop. Luckily for Mickey, Hector Moyer manages to reach DeMarco just in time to prevent the DEA agent from going after Mickey and his crew.